Chaos Apex. I don't know what screenshot I'm putting, and I'm still trying to figure out what time I'm gonna put this at. But I will tell you this: I'm gonna go over the dreads that we ha we didn't even know we had or was gonna be put in, especially in last night. Um, I do have some concept designs, art. Well, yeah, concept designs and colorization. I already know, and another reason why I'll be bringing this up, because even though we lack them in the film, this is a good reason to still get them as figures. And, in retrospect for the characters, I'm going to show you and list off the names. Um, it kind of makes sense. And I have, I have Crowbar here, to promote the figure. Uh, but it do make sense for the, who... For the characters we have, why we didn't, you know, I'm gonna go off the easiest one that technically we got, but we didn't get. But yeah, this goes on to show, this shows that technically would have more named characters with them. But okay, first off, we got Hooligan. Alright, okay, see, it looks better when it's dark. It's dark. Hold up. It's like the it's the glare. Hold up. Okay. If I if I if I okay if I have the image from above. Okay. It, I just need the glare to be. Hold up. Maybe I have it. All right. I'm trying to turn my brightness down. Sorry. I want y'all to get a good image of it. Alright, that, that, that works. Right, I'm going to have to do some dark for that. Alright. Alright, see, y'all see a better image of this when it's like, it's dark. Okay, so we got Hooligan. Now, if y'all remember, Hooligan is quite literally, it's, it's what's the secondary name, or what's supposed to be the name of Dreadbot. Bitch. Like I said, now that that kind of shows that besides crankcase, um, hooligans, I, which I didn't know was one G1 transformer. So that's the second G1 transformer that was a red, right? Okay. Now seeing how they did, kind of did the wheeljack thing, the only difference is like wheeljack was also called Q, and so he constantly called a different character. Um, Dreadbot is full on recognized as. Well, as Dreadbot, not Hooligan, so he can be a separate character in general. But yeah, that shows another name. And I'm going to show you another image of Dreadbot. I mean, of Hooligan. And it's called Design. So you first see, you already seen the image of this color. Then we got this color, and this is one more color image. And you can see that's a Decepticon symbol, and this one, and this one. Right there, crossed out. Which raises questions. Um, here. And while we're here, I guess it makes sense for us not to get the Dreads, because... I'm not sure something like that, but the dreads was gonna be a full on thing in the Bayverse or in the Transformer line, and we we're gonna see a lot more dreads. But we didn't get to see them on film. Which in retrospect, no offense to Michael Bay or the movie. I I, I thought last night was okay, but I feel like there's a lot of stuff that was missed potential or was just stupid. Um and for what last night was and what Megatron was doing and whatnot, yeah. For whatever the, for all the dreads and whatever characters they'll base off of, whatever they do, they were just too powerful or too specialized to do the mission that was asked of him. Berserker can remain tied so he and the fact that Optimus Megatron was getting him out of prison, yeah. Dreadbot almost didn't get out of prison. Berserker wasn't getting out of prison. And I'll hit think with what Hooligan and the other ones would do. I mean as I said Hooligan's supposed to be Dreadbot, yeah, yeah. But you know, with that him a separate character. What they would have did, the other characters would have did in the fact they wouldn't have been let out for their crimes. I gotta look for it. Don't, don't look at those. Oh, what is that, the Hooligan? Yeah, and his last image design artwork for Hooligan Colors. Which, I like this. Alright. And for what happened, like, we seen Dreadbot get killed by Grimlock, but the whole plot for it, this one fit me. And I don't believe, even if they, we don't see the Dreads, even though in another Transformer verse, or whatever, which I feel like we should, I do believe we should at least get the characters and kind of as figures. And... Even though they are just simple repaints as figures. Alright, so that's Hooligan on his color arts. Now let's go for the one that um, we know 
the first concept by art of the one that we knew was going to be best off Hatchet. And I found his name, Dirtbag, which is another G1 Transformer. Again, the dress was going to be a thing. We didn't get to see it on film, and Hasbro, if y'all got to put this in the comic series, like, the main, like I said, the main dread thing is between, the, is literally in the games, and we, all but enforced are, are, are drones. Come on. Hasbro, if you can't use your comic, at least give us the toys for them. All right. So, this is Drip Brags for, like, I think last or earlier design colors. It's not anything too bad. But then we have, hold up, I mean, then we have this color design, which I like. No Drip Brags. Um, then we have, I'm going, I'm going to look at our focus on it. So, we have Dirt Bag in that character. And, I think I'll go on the end, like I said, I'll probably go back over this. And then we got this colorization, which I think is cool. But yeah, that that's two name transform from G1 that we would have with crack case. That, like I said, hooligan, me, me, me. I would say it's kind of interchangeable with Dreadbot, but unlike Q, where we can be separate at the same time, Dreadbot didn't really earn the name Hooligan. So, Hooligan is his own separate character. And then I got one more colorization after this. For, um, Drip, drip, drip Brag. And I'll, this colorization is neat and all that. So, we have that? Alright. And then, yeah. ah, and this, yeah, this is the last image for Dirtbag. But yeah, if you're soaking up that color, I can take a look at the concept art. And now for the first entry. So, this separate character, which would have went with or would have replaced or with Berserker replaced or went, is, guess what? Dreadwing! Yes! Dreadwing. Oh, wait, hold up. Wait, I mean, Dreadwind. Dreadwind. Not Dreadwing. I, I, I'm pretty sure I wanted one of the colors said Dreadwing at one point, but I, I'm looking at all of them that said Dreadwind. But, you know, at the end of the day, Dreadwind is literally a G1 Transformer, a flying one. Now, we know that all the Dreads at least share a body mold, but they don't... But they, they all are... Which I heard the term is sh shelf warmers, so they don't show who what vehicle turn. So seeing how this is Dreadwind, I would expect it they would use the you know the standard Dread body, and then would have transformed into a ship like an airship or some type of flying vehicle, uh, which Nitro Juice had that covered. And like I said, with the plot line, like I said, Nitro Juice was the OG Transformer in that group, and he was the one who was like his barricade didn't go with them after when they went to the air. So flying was important, so they would dread and which for dread win, wins character. I feel that the plot was too slow and they they couldn't just nerf dreadwind like that. So another dread that we didn't get to have, or berserker kind of filled, had to fill the slot for dreadwind, which that's interesting. So that's technically three, because like I said, I'm kind of holding separate from dreadbot. That's three. Threads that we didn't we didn't get to have or didn't see on film, and they might be existing in the expanded verse, but they're not labeled down. Which if you add those, that makes ten dreads. But yeah, and then we got this color. There's, there's a few more colors I have to show y'all. And look at all these colors for him. I see how it's dread. Like I said, I pretty sure will transform to like an air vehicle. But that that is something. We didn't get to have, but like I said, last, what, how last night was going. Let's be honest. The main, the main standpoint was the fact Quintessa brought back Megatron, for Megatron, wanted to enslave Optimus and Bone be Optimus to fight. That was the main point of the movie. Oh yeah, and the fact that Merlin and King Arthur dealt with robot dragons. That was literally it. I mean, that that's really the overview. Heck, the name Decepticons all got killed and massacred, but Barricade and Nitro Zeus. Barricade didn't even go into the final fight, and the Nitro's got capped. So, you know, having such cool characters like this, 
just to get merged would make sense. So, yeah, bring in, technically take away the names, give them away from Hooligan not getting called, getting the full name of Hooligan because he was, how he was going to die off. And then Berserker, because he was just going to get locked up and not get out. It just makes sense. Though, the way they did Onslaught, that was messed up. Because seeing how the old Onslaught is and all that, y'all, y'all them dirty. At least Brawl, at least Brawl got to show why he was named Brawl in the first movie. Y'all, y'all, Onslaught did not deserve or need to die like that. Especially since, not only was he the leader, he was supposed to be the strongest one. And then the fact that Onslaught also was supposed to be Berserker's friend. Y'all, 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 y'all did, y'all did him dirty. Okay, um, okay, trying to find the okay but you can look at the other colorizations of this yeah and that's all the colorizations okay so I'm gonna turn the light back on all right so like I said I made my piece about the characters and whatnot in the movies and I don't know, the Spanish version, I already said we need more dreads, and hopefully this becomes an actual thing. Alright, so we got that out of the way. Now, let's go to the standpoint of figures. We've seen that not only have Hasbro done figures from the games, and, has, and there's plenty of toy companies, even them, who have done concept art figures for the things, for whatever reason, whatever. And I feel like we can take advantage of this. If we can't get in the movie, we can still get in the, um, toy. I mean, Skyhammer was never in the movie. I don't know if he was a console partner. Heck, if I remember, Skyhammer is supposed to be a vehicle. Of a large vehicle for Trent Autobots. So, these characters, Hooligan, Dirt Bo Dirtbag, and Dreadwind. Dreadwind. Which give them as figures. And as long as we have to do it, they don't. They didn't have any shown vehicle forms and full things in the concept. And look, we, Berserker has an a, a SUV form, which he wasn't even shown transforming. Um, Crankcase literally is not matching his film art. He's just a straight, straight repaint of Crowbar. We've seen different characters get certain things that we have. Cogman has a larger body and that transforms. The Guardian Knights have individual dragon forms. You know what I'm saying? So, let's get some repaint fingers. I mean, for Hooligan, like I said, if we, right, we, even if we don't get Dreadbot, which I do hope we get Dreadbot, it would be a retool of Crowbar, but Hooligan, like I said, we only get the colors for Hooligan, right? Um, oh, let me scroll to the other colors. And look at all these colors that we have for him. Seeing how Hooligan is, is, is colors and all of them should thing, and we don't know if Hooligan actually has cables or not, um, you don't have to retool at all. You can just pick one of the colors of Hooligan and repaint Crowbar to get them. Hasbro, you can do this. It would work out, actually. Cause I can see, let's say, let's say we get, um, let's say we go with, let's say, let's say you repaint them with this colorization, right? All right, but we use we use these colors for the cables, make it funky, right? And then we the we use these colors, oh, we can use these colors for the, the cables, and then we use these colors for the bomb spheres. People would still buy it, even if it wasn't a film one night. The fact that you had dread color like that, it's cool enough, they would get it. And you got to realize, Crankcase, you had to try to get for the film thing. But, Crankcase was straight up, literally, just a minor repaint of, crow, of Crowbar. Which, technically in the film, they're the same colors. Pretty much the same colors, so I mean, I can't, I, I can't fuck you on that one. And then Dirtbag... Actually, no, we're not going to... Let's, let's, let's go to Dreadwind first. And quite literally, Dreadwind. Seeing how technically he's supposed to be what the early concepts of literally Berserker. Look at these colors. And then there's like... 
multiple colors to choose from. Straight up, yeah, sure, probably probably could turn to air vehicle, but we don't know that. Pick one of these cool colors. Repaint Berserker, because I mean you got crow you got crowbar with a repaint, you know. Technically, Berserker was supposed to have the repaint, not, crow, not Crowbar. And, go ahead and see how Crowbar's re re Go ahead, repaint Berserker, name it Dreadwing, as we have. And then, boom, I, th I think any of these colors you choose for Dreadwing and repaint Berserker as. Well, I'm going to look, I'm going to have a little choice words with this coloration, but I still think it's cool. And, any of these colorations and name it Dreadwing, I think people would still get the figure. They would still get the figure, and then, you know, you can still have... Like five whole dreads. It'll be separate repaints, and you can change the color of the vehicle itself too. I mean, that'd be interesting. And then dirt bag. Well, like I said, we're supposed to begin the studio's hatchet, but seeing how we don't physically have that figure yet, you know, once we get if that confirm full on confirm dirt bag. I was I was already saying repaint. Hatchet, but look at the colors you can choose from to repaint Hatchet as. People would get it. And then you can legit have, let's see, if we get Hatchet, we got Crankcase and Crowbar, Berserker, his own little squad. We get Dreadbot and have Berserker and them be friends. We get these repaints, you can literally have a whole nother squad set of Dreads with the second wave of Dreads. And... Even if they're repaints of each other or whatever, people will still buy it. And then the colorizations that you can, you have for them to choose from, is wonderful. That you can legit repaint. Have you repaint? Heck, you repaint the same figures and still give them the same names. You can still just choose the flipping. You can still repaint the same figure and still give them the same name. So I'm giving you have three separate figures as you can repaint your leisure. Um, and there's some more names. Heck, in person one said Dreadwind. Re you can repaint one of the characters as Dreadwind. You already got you already the main slot finished. That's just that just be easy. Anyway, let the chaos guide you. What do y'all think of these met these mess dreads that we? didn't get to see on film and now is in concept art do y'all wish the dreads will pop up in the future transformer line do y'all would y'all be happy getting repaints of berserker and crowbar as any one of those colors as the name dreads like and subscribe tell hashbro to do it and let the chaos guide you